Hi, my name's Trevor. I'm a developer and I'm a trainer here at Evolving Web. And at Evolving Web, we build our client sites using Drupal. Um, but we also train Drupal. Uh, we train everything from uh, site building up to uh, creating themes, all the way up to module development. And so you can sign up for these. Uh, you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash training. You can see a list of all the different trainings and workshops uh, that we have upcoming. Um, and we also have a newsletter. Uh, so you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash newsletter and you can sign up for our training newsletter and you can see when new trains are upcoming and some uh, featured articles that we're going to be showing and writing about Drupal and other things as well. Um, speaking of training, a few weeks ago I gave a, a Drupal training and somebody asked a great question uh, during the training. They asked about this module uh, that they would use for a Drupal 7 site um, called NodeQ. And I personally use this uh, many times for my own personal sites and some client sites. Um, but NodeQ is a module that was written for Drupal 7 that doesn't exist in Drupal 8 anymore. What it allowed you to do was to create uh, lists of content that you could order arbitrarily. Okay, So um, I'm going to show you two different methods in Drupal 8 and other versions of Drupal, future versions of Drupal, uh, how to recreate this. So uh, I'm gonna start by showing you what the issue is. So I have a site here, and I've created a few uh, articles for it, and I've made a page uh, using views called Featured Articles. Uh, and at the top here, you can see article number two and article number one. And uh, saved here, uh, I haven't saved it yet, but I have article number three that I'm going to save right now, and we're going to see what happens. Save. And if I go to featured articles here, we can see now article number three is at the top, article number two is in the middle, and article number one is at the bottom. So this is being ordered uh, by the date that it was created, the dates that the article was created. Um, which is okay, but sometimes we want to have something where we want to control the order of this. What if we want article number one at the top, and article number three in the middle, and article number two uh, at the bottom? How do we do this? So I'm going to show you two different ways. The first way I'm going to show you uh, is a module uh, called Entity Queue. Entity Queue. This is very similar uh, to Node Queue from Drupal 7. I'm going to show you how this works. So I already have this downloaded here, and I'm going to show you how we do this. So back on my Drupal site, Again, I have a view that I have created uh, for my featured articles page. Right here, and it's showing me a list of those three articles, and this is being sorted by the date uh, that they were created. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Structure. I've already enabled Entity Queue, and you can see here if I go to Structure, Entity Queues, um, there's no queues made already, so I'm going to make a new entity queue. And what this is going to let us do is, is, is it's going to give us the ability to add uh, content to this queue, and we can sort and drag it how we want. So I'm going to call this Featured Content. And I'm going to make this just a simple queue. And some of the settings, I'm just going to leave them as is. Uh, type of items to queue, I'm going to leave this as content, but you have a bunch of different options uh, for uh, things you want to sort. Uh, reference method, keep that the same, but I'm going to change the content type to just be articles. And queue settings here, you could, you could restrict how many items could be in here. Uh, I'm going to leave this just as it is. So I'm going to save this. And so I've got one queue here. I'm going to show you what we do. So right now it says featured content. What type of stuff it's going to show in there? It's going to show content. And how many items are in there? There's zero items in there because I just made it. Um, so I'm going to go edit items. And there's a few different ways that we can add content to this. So uh, we can do the, the, the first way. You can just start typing the name of the item. So I'm going to say go article far. number one and click add item. And I'll save this. And that's one way to do it. You could, you could go to uh, the queue here, edit the items, and, and type the name of it. Another way you can do it, though, is you can go to the content itself. So I'm going to go to content here, and I'm going to edit article number two. And up at the top of this content type now, I have this tab that says entity queue. And it'll show me the list of the queues that this could be added to. So I'm going to hit add to queue on this one. All right, 
and it updates it automatically. So now it says there's two items there. Uh, I can remove it as well, but I'm gonna hit this little arrow right here and go edit sub Q items. And it's gonna show me a list of the uh, content that is in this queue. And of course I could add more if I wanted to, but just for this demonstration, I'll show you this. So I have these two items in this queue, but what does that, what does that mean? What can I do with this? Well, I can use the information from this queue, the sorting order, which, which content is in here, and I can bring this into my featured articles view. So I'm gonna show you how we do that. I'm gonna go to my view that I created, structure, views, and I have my featured articles view right there. And right now, as I said before, it's being sorted by the date that the content was made, and so it's showing me articles and showing the three articles right there. What I do now, I go to the advanced section on the right hand side, open this up, and the section called relationships, I'm gonna add a new relationship. Add. And in the categories, I'm just gonna go to the, the drop down here, category, entity queue. And uh, you can see here, I can add this thing called content queue. It says create a relationship from content to an entity queue. I'm gonna add this, and it'll show me all the different queues I have. I only have one, I only have the featured content one, so I'm gonna check that. And I'm gonna go require this relationship. And what this means is, it's only gonna show me content that has been added inside of this queue. So right now, I have the three articles being shown, but I'm gonna require this relationship, we're gonna see what is going to happen. Require, apply, and I'm gonna scroll down to the preview area here, and it shows me article number one and article number two. So article number three has been taken off because I haven't added it to my featured content queue. So I'm gonna save this, save. And I'm gonna go back to the site and go to featured articles. And we can see here, we have article number two and article number one. But if we take a look at our queue, go to structure, Entity queues, featured content. I'm going to edit the items here. Look at the order of this. This says article number one is first, and article number two is at the bottom. But when I go to look at my 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 uh, my featured articles, article number two is on top, and article number one is at the bottom. What's what's going on here? How do I get the sorting information correct? What we're missing here uh, is sort criteria on our view. So I'm going to go and edit my view. And by default, of course, the sort criteria is content authored on. I'm gonna remove that sort criteria. Take that off, remove, and then I'm gonna add a different sort criteria. I'm gonna go add, and I'm just gonna go to the category and choose entity queue, so it filters everything down. And I'm gonna choose content queue position. All right, I'm gonna add and configure this. Apply. And now you can see in the preview area that it's correct. I see article number one at the top, article number two at the bottom. But I'm gonna save this. We can see that article number one at the top, article number two at the bottom. But just to test it, I'm gonna change the order inside of the queue. I'm gonna put article number two up top and press save. And now if I refresh here, article number two should be at the top and article number one at the bottom like that, and that works. So that's one method to get it done, and that is using the entity queue module. I'm gonna show you one more way to do it. Um, uh, if you've used uh, Drupal uh, to some degree, maybe you've heard of the paragraphs module. Um, I'm gonna show you how we can do it this way. You might have uh, a content type called landing page where you can show different things and stack them on top of each other. So I, I do have one of those. I have a, a piece of content here called super fun landing page. And here I've got a, an image and I've got a text field. And I'll edit this and show you what I mean. I've got two content components, paragraph things here, an image and a text, and I can drag these up and down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a different paragraph type where I can, I can add in uh, different content and feature things inside of there. And then we could, we could display it as a slideshow or however you wanna display it. I'll show you how we do that. So. I am going to go to Structure, 
paragraph types. Make a new paragraph. And I'm going to call this, you know, featured content. Uh, content that can be added and sorted arbitrarily. Save. And there's no field on here when you create a, a paragraph uh, by default. So I'm going to add a field here. And what I'm going to add is a uh, content reference, an entity reference here. So I'm going to choose a reference to content. And I'll call this, you know, featured content. An allowed number of values. I am going to let this be unlimited, but you could, you know, limit this to say five or however many you wanted to. Save this. And I'm going to restrict this so it only shows me article content. Save that. And now, when I go back to the site, I've got my landing page here. And when I go to edit, I've got my two paragraphs there that, of course, I could rearrange if I wanted to. But I've got a new option here called featured content, add featured content. So I'm going to hit that. And here, similarly to how uh, Entity Queue was doing it before, I can do this article number, I'll put number three, and I'll add another one, I'll put article number one. And of course I could rearrange these in uh, uh, any order that I wanted to. And I'll save that. And you can see here, uh, it's just showing me the default uh, uh, label for the content, but of course I could change this on my paragraph type here, featured content, manage the display of this, and I want to hide the label for it, and instead of just showing me a, a title with a link to it, I'm going to change this to the teaser of that, and I'll update and save. And let's refresh the super fun landing page, and instead of it just saying featured content with links to the content, I can refresh, and it will show me the teaser view mode of it. Okay, so the Entity Queue, uh, there's a few more steps involved in it, I find. Uh, this, this uh, using the paragraphs approach, uh, is another approach that might be a little bit uh, easier. You know, of course, you could, you could style these as a, as a slideshow or however you wanted to. So why wouldn't you just use the paragraph uh, method that I'm doing here? One advantage of using the enti Entity Queue method is that uh, we can have content uh, be uh, featured uh, and sorted in multiple places at once. Okay, so I have my featured articles page right here. Again, this is coming from that view, and that might make sense, but we might also want to have these featured articles be in the sidebar in some place, and we want them to be in sync. Well, <laughs> using entity queues, I only just have to create another view or another display on that view and have it appear as a block. So I'll just quickly show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to edit this view one more time. And I have already made it as a page. I'm going to add it as a block. As a block. And again, this is inheriting the relationships and the sort criteria. So I don't have to do anything here. The only thing I will do is uh, down in the preview, uh, it is showing me as, uh, as the view modes of teaser. I'm going to change this just for this block, just as fields, just so I can see this as the title, like that. And I'll save. And I'm going to add it into the sidebar here really, really quickly. Structure, blocks. I'm going to place a block. I'm going to add featured articles. Display the title. Save this block. And this will show up underneath the search box in my left sidebar. When I go back to the site, you can see the featured articles there. Article number two, then article number one below it. The featured articles view, it's the same. And if I go to my super fun landing page, you can see the featured articles is there, and if I want, I can change the order of this really easily, like that, save, and now they're like that in both places.
places. Okay, so that was a, a, a really quick look uh, at the Entity Q module and uh, uh, sorting content arbitrarily, and how to do it also with the paragraphs module using a content reference. Both advantages to both uh, methods, but those, there's uh, both of them for you. Okay, once again, uh, uh, we're doing lots of training here at Evolving Web, uh, so go to evolvingweb.ca slash training, and again, you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash newsletter uh, to get uh, uh, alerts for when we're putting up newsletters, uh, and also uh, neat tricks like this that we announced there. All right, thank you for watching. See you soon.